Hello and welcome to the County of San Diego's septic system training video. The County of San Diego is committed to reducing the amount of bacteria that is found in our local waters, and one way this can be accomplished is through proper septic system maintenance. If a septic system failure occurs, it can cost you a lot of money to repair and can contaminate our local waterways. The purpose of this short video is to provide information about your septic system that will help you prevent failures and protect local waters. Our local waters are all connected. Water from rain and groundwater sources drain to a single point based on the geography of an area. This area is known as a watershed. A watershed is like a giant funnel where water moves from land into creeks, rivers, and eventually, the ocean. In San Diego County, you live in one of 11 local watersheds, and most of them drain into the Pacific Ocean. Let's look at how you can protect our watersheds by keeping your septic system working properly. There are multiple types of septic systems, and the most common is a conventional system. However, septic systems generally work in the same way. There are four main components to a typical septic system. First, the sewer pipe from the home. Second, the septic tank. Third, the leach field. And fourth, the soil. Septic systems treat wastewater, which include toilet, laundry, shower, and sink water from your home before releasing it into the environment. First, wastewater, also known as sewage from your home's plumbing, flows through a pipe to the septic tank. Sewage entering the septic tank is collected and held long enough to allow solids to settle, forming a sludge layer on the bottom of the tank. Oil and grease separate and float to the top forming a scum layer. The rest of the sewage becomes a water layer between the sludge and scum. Beneficial bacteria work to break down the sludge in the septic tank. Then, after partial treatment in the tank, the sewage water exits through a pipe that leads to the leach field. Most systems drain by gravity, but some have pumps that also need to be maintained. The tank's design prevents sludge and scum from leaving the tank. In conventional septic systems, leach lines are installed below ground in gravel-filled trenches. This area where leach lines are located is called the leach field. Once the partially treated sewage water reaches the leach field, the microorganisms in the soil remove harmful bacteria, nutrients, and other pollutants from the sewage water. Finally, the treated water leaves the leach field and makes its way into groundwater and into our watersheds. If your septic system hasn't been maintained properly, a failure can occur. A failure can be identified by pools of sewage on the ground by the leach field or septic tank, patches of unusually green or fast-growing vegetation above the leach field, slow-draining pipes, or pipes that back up into the home. If you notice any of these signs, call a professional immediately to help. Do not cover up the exposed sewage with soil or other material, as this will not correct the problem. Do not pump or redirect sewage to streets, storm drains, rivers, lakes, streams, or to abandoned wells or holes. This pollutes water and is illegal. In the meantime, to avoid further issues, make sure you do the following. Use as little water as possible until the repair is made. Rope or fence off the area where sewage is on the ground to keep people and animals away. Prevent potentially contaminated water from leaving the site by placing barriers around affected areas and contact an approved septic pumping vendor. Generally, a septic system fails prematurely due to broken pipelines in the leach field or blockages and clogging from solids due to overuse or buildup. Leach field pipes are most commonly broken by roots from trees or bushes planted too close to a leach field, driving over the leach field, or doing construction next to a leach field. 
Blockages and clogs occur when solids in the sewage do not settle completely in the septic tank and are flushed into the leach field. This happens when you use a large amount of water in your house and it forces solids out of the septic tank, or when the septic tank is not pumped at the recommended frequency and sludge builds up inside the tank. To maintain your septic system and prevent failures from happening, follow these simple best management practices. Put food waste in the trash or compost instead of using a garbage disposal. Too much food waste can overload the bacteria that break down solid material. Conserve water. Install low flow fixtures such as sink aerators and low water use toilets. Limit the amount of time spent in the shower and fix all leaks. By conserving water, you can avoid overloading your septic system. Place any sanitary products, cotton balls, baby wipes, flushable wipes, or other solid material in a trash can since these will not break down in the septic system and make clog pipes. Only toilet paper should be placed into the septic system. Minimize putting chemicals down the drain. Chemicals such as household cleaners, bleach, and unused medication can affect the bacteria in the septic system. Take these products to the nearest household hazardous waste collection center instead. Find one near you by visiting wastefreesd.org. Most importantly, have your septic system pumped regularly by a licensed septic pumper. Regular pumping helps remove the accumulated sludge from the bottom of the septic tank and ensures proper operation. Speaking of pumping your tank regularly, do you know how often you should be pumping yours? Your ideal pumping frequency depends on the size of your septic tank and the number of people living in your home. This chart provides estimates for a pumping frequency. For example, if you have a 1,000 gallon tank with four people living at your home, you will need to pump your tank approximately once every two and a half years. The chart included here is only an example. Contact a licensed septic pumper for the appropriate pumping frequency for your system. For a more detailed pumping frequency table, please visit www.sandiegocounty.gov slash watershed rebates and click the septic rebate program. Maintaining the health of our San Diego County watersheds requires us all to do our part. Ensuring your septic system is properly maintained helps prevent expensive emergency repairs and keeps our watersheds healthy. For more information on septic systems, including permitting and requirements, contact the San Diego County Department of Environmental Health and Quality through the information shown on the screen. Thank you for learning more about how to maintain your septic system and for helping to protect our watersheds.